everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back. As always, I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, I got a new Transformer today and I'm going to do a review of them. I know, shocker. But before that, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go down and hit that sub button for me. It helps out the channel. Hit that little bell. It notifies new content. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. It's all in the description. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Like I said, I have a new review today, and today I'm going to be looking at the Studio Series number 42. This is Constructicon Long Haul. Yay, I've been really looking forward to it. I can't wait to finish the Devastator off. There you go. Very nice. Under there. All that good stuff in here. If you want to pause for the cost or read that, all that good stuff. So, very awesome. It's got a good heft to them, also, man. Very nice. Let's open this puppy up. See what we're working with. All right. Oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Smells like a dump truck to me. All right. Let me get this fellow out. I'll be right back. All right. Here he is. Real quick, and I'll tell you what he got come with with him. Uh, he does have instruction. That's pretty cool. They always do. And he has the back screen back scene drop of the pyramids. Uh, when they was forming Devastator, he's got a nice little silhouette in there in the shadows, so that's pretty cool. So if you want to display him on that, I don't have the room, but it's a pretty cool option to have and everything. And that's it. He doesn't come with any weapons, so oh well. Anyways, all right, I'm going to take a look at this fella, get to know him a little better, you know, transform and all that good stuff. I'll come back and I'll tell you what I think. All right, here is Long Haul in his alt mode, and uh, it's not that great, uh, to be honest. I mean, that 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 is just unsightly. <laughs> That, that is lazy yeah um, and see how to it, like that you try to line up everything it has to line up and then if you try to get everything there then this just falls down so that looks out of place because it's supposed to be like that so man I don't know and this thing this side keeps popping off real easy this one doesn't stay in that well I mean it's got some nice details in there and everything but you know it rolls if you can get it to you know it will roll fine but then that will just pop off and everything so yeah this is not a very good alt mode at all you know it's it's movie accurate i guess you know but it, it's got some issues really got some issues lining up and everything so that's the same got some nice silver accent and gun metal down here everything uh tires i think that's plastic the green around there nice blue windows like a metallic blue i like that with the black and the black paint right there that's a nice gun metal right here silver accents right there for the lights and stuff and once again the same thing and everything like that and all that stuff but yeah that's just yeesh but yeah trying to get everything lined up it just i don't know not a really good alt mode i'm, I'm not getting these for the alt modes you know i'm definitely get it for devastator uh, but if, so if you're getting these for the alt mode, yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, there you go. But, yeah, there is a long haul. Not a very good alt mode to me. But here he is next to Siege. Uh, Sideswipe. And we got tracks. And then we'll throw in um, Alternator's Hot Rod. So he is kind of on a small side for a big for a dump truck and everything, but he is going to be the leg of a Devastator. So but there he is. Crapagonics, bottle of water, and toilet paper. All right, here's a look at the leg mold. There you go. It is kind of a little wobbly wobbly. It's a shame. And it's got a little ratchet and everything, so it's going to be have a little ankle tilt, you know, rocker. And you can, it can go back a little bit also and a little bit forward. So it's going to have a little little movement for him. So there he is. Basically just the bed of it. It's just the, you know, the base of it and everything. So, yep, that is going to be the leg mold. There's a size comparison with uh, Siege Sideswipe. All right, here is Long Haul in his robot mode. That's a huge backpack. Jeebus. Ugh. He's, oh. Man, I don't know about this guy, man. Mm, mm, mm. He's short and stubby. 
just like me. So here's the head sculpt. Decent head sculpt, very nice. Got some nice red paint over there for the eyes. And got some nice gun metal right there for his his brain, his cranium, and some nice details and everything like that good stuff. So very nice. Uh, he can look side to side. It's a tight, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff just gets in his way, especially with the arms and everything. I mean, it's just, and he can look down a little bit, not much, and he can look up a good fair amount. That's pretty good. And you can give a little attitude, too. So that's pretty cool. So uh, very nicely detailed right here. You got some, you know, plastic, but it's, you know, nicely detailed and everything. Then you got the chest or anything. That's really good. Nice silver paint. A lot of nice silver accent, especially throughout the chest and the arms. That's pretty good. And some nice uh, gun metal right there. Some red. All that good stuff. So very nicely detailed and painted. I give them that. But that's about... Then it goes to... Yeah, so you move to the arms and they go up to here, but you know the the tires get in his way. So if you're trying to move, maneuver anything, manipulate it, you know you can go all the way around. And this is on a mushroom peg, his arm. And golly, come on now. And it tends to pop off a lot too, so just be aware of that. But nicely detailed sculpt and everything for all that silver and all that good stuff for the wires and everything. So that's pretty good. Uh, you got his, you know, his shields or whatever. And the missile pods right there. That's pretty cool. Would have been cool if they would have painted them. Nothing for the hands. Fingers don't move at all. They're all they're stationary. So that's a shame. So no articulation for that. Moving on down, like I said, it's got the crotch. It's got some nice silver right there. Gun metal right here for the grates or something, whatever. That's pretty. He does have a waist full. It is uh, ratcheted, just because of the uh, the leg mold and everything. So you can, he can't do the full Van Dam, because everything just gets in his way. If move all the way up. It's got nice uh, ratcheted, soft ratchets for that. But you can't get up very much. You have to move this out of the way, and then you can get it like that. So you have to move this little, this thing moves like that. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, he does have a thigh swivel and a knee swivel all the way around from what there. More details around here. Nice gun metal, all that good stuff. And a lot of a little green down here. These tires, you can have them in the front. That's a uh, movie accurate, or you can move them to the back also. It's your choice. Uh, toe tilt up a little bit. And uh, he does have a rocker. And that's, that's it for that. Everything. So, just stuff gets in his way. He just... Tubby Wubby. And this thing is supposed to, you know, fit right in here. And it will once in a while, but it will pop out a lot. And he does have a huge backpack. So it doesn't clean up that well. But you got the back right there. That's pretty nice. Some details in there. It wouldn't be cool if they silvered. Put some silver right there, but, you know. All right. So there is Long Haul. There he is with the other two Constructicons that I have that are out right now. And there he is with the Leader Class and Voyagers and Deluxes from the Studio Series. All right, there he is with the original Long Haul from the uh, 2009 movie. A lot better color and better green, all that stuff. He's a lot more stumpier. Next, a Crapagonics, a bottle of water, toilet paper, and squeaks. Doll. All right, final thoughts on Studio Series number 42, Long Haul from the Constructicons. 
Man, I mean, it's. I was really looking forward to this guy. I heard some really good things about it, but I don't know. Maybe it's just mine. But yeah, the alt mode. Eh, I mean, if you're looking at it, you know, straight on, it looks fine. It looks movie accurate, and that's cool. But when you look from the top, it just ugh, the hands, you know, just sticking out and everything, doesn't look good at all. It's really, you know, eyesore and everything, and stuff just, you know, trouble staying, you know, tabbed in and everything, like I showed you in the back and everything. So. Yeah, transformation is easy. It's really simple. Uh, I like the leg mode. I'm really looking forward to it. The only reason why I'm getting these is because of Devastator. Um, I'm not doing it individually. If you're doing these for the individual modes, uh, I don't know about that. But that's yours. If, you, if you're happy, that's all that matters. Uh, the robot mode, I mean, it looks fine. It looks movie accurate. I love the green. Uh, it's got some really good paint to it. I love how they got the silver and everything, all that stuff, and the gun metal, you know, to bring out the details and all that stuff. So that's very nice. Articulation is lacking. Um, just stuff gets in the way. Like when, you know, the arms, the tires get in the arms way and everything. He's got these big old shoulder pads, or not shoulder pads, but, you know, forearm covers. I guess they're, you know, to be shields and everything. Uh, no movement on the hands, you know, and everything. So it just... I don't know, it's really lacking. You know, to try to get him into a good pose, you have to, you know, move stuff and it just, stuff gets in his way. So overall, not one of the better studio series to come out, you know, so, you know, but like I said, I'm using it for a uh, combined mode, so the other two modes don't matter to me. They may to you, and if they do, then I don't know, you may want to pass on this guy. Just saying. But anyways, that is my thoughts on him. So I guess I'll get on the floor. I'm going to do some floor time. Why don't you join me? Be my neighbor. All right, all right, all right. All right. I don't think, I think um, I forgot to go over the knee bend. It does have a 90 degree knee bend. I don't think I went that over on uh, articulation. Sorry about that. I missed it. But yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, this is, mm, I had high hopes for this guy, man. Because I really like the studio series. I think they're really good. I would definitely get, I would get rid of all my movie bots and just stick with the studio series because they've gotten a lot better, but this one just didn't hit the mark that well. Ain't that right? Come here, Alpha bro, give me a hug. Uh, yeah, I don't want to hug you. Come on now. Well, I can't even give a hugs anyways because I got such, you know, I'm a tubby wubby and everything gets in my way, so I can't even reach around you. Just like, that's gross. Come on, give me a hug. Uh, all right. Crimson, Crimson. Oh, oh well. Man. Golly. Just can't. I mean, I guess you can move that back and move the uh, tires up here if you want to. And give it that kind of a look. And it'll have more. See, then the backpack starts. Yeah. That sucks. You can't really. You don't have really, really good arm movements. All right, I'm just rambling. All right, I hope you like my review over the Studio Series Long Haul, number 42. Uh, go ahead and hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go hit me with some comments and tell me what you think of this guy. Are you in for the uh, whole set, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm looking forward to uh, Devastator, at least. Uh, the other two were pretty good. I like those two, but this one just... Mm, not really impressed with this one. Oh, well. All right, I guess I'll see you on the next Studio Series review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Hasbro, and good night, folks. Man, why did Michael Bay make us look all alike insects? All the dev all the Decepticons look like insects. Meh.